Reporting for duty, Commander Bratton. Sorry we haven't had much time for formalities. We have a situation, and you're the man to resolve it. I'm used to it, sir. A mercenary group called the Red Hand has been unusually active in this system in the last few weeks. Red Hand? Didn't they used to work for us? Not anymore. <laughs> they get their wages elsewhere these days. We've managed to track them to a small base on the planet Estuary. I want you to go in and clean them out. Terrific. Pack up. You're on your own. I'll send some help if you run into anything you can't handle. Yeah, right. I've heard that before. I've read your bio texts. I know what you've been through. And for that, you have my respect. So I'll forgive your descent this time. Hmm. We will be using an experimental transportation device based on confed forecasting technology to get you planet side. Forecasting? Like they use for fleet movements? Yes, Tex. We've started using it for equipment and personnel transportation. It will provide you with almost instant entry and extraction. You needn't worry about getting stranded in a hot spot again. That depends on who's controlling the technology. Will I get any intel during the mission? I'll be monitoring mission progress through your optical implants. They allow me to see everything you do so I can analyze the mission while you are planet side. Great. Can I turn those implants off, you know, after hours? You leave immediately. And Tex? Yes, sir. Welcome to the newly commissioned 23rd Special Forces Unit, codenamed Brute Force. The enemy base is well guarded. There are deadly environmental hazards to consider as well. Watch your step. I'm going to guide you through this mission by updating yellow objective markers on your radar. Stay at the drop zone for a basic refresher course if needed. Otherwise, proceed to the first objective marker when you are ready. Company, get ready. Your radar will track the enemy as red and allies as green. Don't forget that objective markers are yellow. Hold up. That drop is enough to hurt you. I suggest going another room. Pick up their grenades and ammo. They'll come in handy. Nav beacon updated. 
Use those rocks and trees for cover and try to get in close enough to take that guy out with a grenade. Pull the left trigger to throw a grenade. Careful, they've got this place mined. Try to disarm a few and pick them up. You might be able to use them later. Hold up. That base may be more than you can handle alone. I'm moving a couple of V-Squad to your location. Don't forget that your squad will use ammo and med kits as needed, but they'll always leave the last med kit for you. Great. Pick up the sniper rifle by that crate and try to pick off some of the guards from a distance. Nav beacon updated. Click the right thumbstick to toggle sniper mode. Nice work. We're all done here. Head to the extraction point I've marked on your radar and I'll bring you home. Nav beacon updated. DNA canisters unlock characters for use in deathmatch.
We have a critical mission. The newest members of the Confederation, a planet called Ferex. I've heard the name. The Ferals are a primitive race, living in clans, acting more on intuition than reason. They're a savage species, but noble. Noble savages, huh? When one of them commits a crime against the clan, he's exiled. An outcast. Banished. Until now, these outcasts have wandered the land as lost individuals. Scavengers waiting to die. And now? They've begun slaughtering as groups. Someone's turning them into a death squad. Gathering them, leading them, cohesively molding their thoughts and actions. Uh-huh. Who's the charmer? We've gotten reports the outcasts have been using alien technology in their latest raids. Great. We get proof of that technology, we might have our answer. Anything else? The newest member of your team is there now. You'll rendezvous planet side. A feral warrior named Brutus. Feral. You partnered me up with an animal? He's Confederation trained. He's one of us, Tex. Yeah. Right. <laughs>